Uh, right. All right. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So go ahead and, and I guess you can start it off by just letting me know where you're at with it, but then I can, I'm going to just give you a crash course and, and just try to make this much easier than, than what it looks like. Um, even by so, having this damn thing up, it's already confusing. You know what I mean? But, yeah. but are you understanding the basics honestly, so far? I see. I mean, I just looked around, but I didn't want to actually do anything until I talked to you okay. today. So Perfect. I made a list of things that I want to get going on. Um, Perfect. But whatever, you know, you've obviously brought people through this process. So I'm sure you're more efficient than what I would be doing. Yeah. But at the same time, if you have something very specific, let, let's focus on that. Like, let's focus on that. We'll knock out each one, one at a time. Um, and then as I'm, as I'm guiding you through, I can, I can also, you know, share my two cents and try to make it even easier. Sure. So some of the big things I wanted to cover and, you know, like I said, I'm off all next week. So perfect. <laughs> I just do a, a daily recurring appointment on your calendar. Yeah, bro. We could but, do it for sure. Uh, awesome. But, um, so I wanted to, to talk to you again about, you know, we have the Mosaic of website up and running on a WordPress. It's mm -hmm. the three pages I showed you. Mm -hmm. Should we <clears throat> uh, basically clone that and put it in here and blow away what we have existing? Yep. Yes, 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 and yes, for sure. For sure. Um, two reasons. Number one, it's super easy. And number two, it'd be better to have everything under one umbrella. Sure. So yeah for sure for sure and and should we start there should i maybe just help you get up a few pages that you'll be able to just turn around and, and clone yeah so we can we can create the pages in here first and not go live with them yet right just oh yeah for sure for sure for sure yeah because yeah, i need to get i need to get my cto involved to change mm -hmm. the domains and do all that kind of crazy shit yeah all it comes down to is just logging into wherever you got your your domain through um go daddy Perfect. 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 So it's, it takes two seconds to integrate the domain. So yeah. yeah, speak to them first. And then whenever you get the green light, then we'll just integrate that domain over here. I'll help you do that. Um, super simple. Super okay. simple. So do you um, want to clean pages right now while we're talking? Yeah. Or? Why don't, why don't you go ahead and, and pull up, pull up those WordPress pages. Let's just take a look at them again real quick. And then, and then we'll go into the page builder over here and try to find a template that, that resembles it. And if we, even if we don't find the exact template, we can build it. Like we can build it. It's it's super simple. So <clears throat> these images though aren't on this computer that I'm working on. I okay. Can, you, can I did I share my screen with you or did I just share a cartro with you? No, I see your I see your golf page. Okay. Yeah, I I see your screen. So yeah, here's your golf page right here. Okay. So <clears throat> this um the background obviously is an image, and then that hand of the of the holding the phone that's that's an image as well so it just comes down to getting those images and then scroll down mm -hmm. so we got that middle section and then we got that green bar um, that goes across the middle we got more images and then we have a, a form request a demo so <clears throat> that's simple man that's super super simple so let's look at a page real quick so we'll just go by page by page so let's leave this one up and then let's go let's x out of this one um and let's click on pages and let me let me also and i'm recording the call for you guys so you can always replay it but um let me kind of tell you the order that i normally go in when it when it comes sure. to creating a page um because there's a, there's a specific order so everything matches and so everything lines up it's like a puzzle we're going to just put together a puzzle there's a few pieces to the puzzle so What I normally do is I, I'll come in and I'll create the page first, meaning the, the landing page, whether it's a landing page or whether it's a, a page like a home page, whatever. If that page is the first initial page, that page comes first. Let's call it a home page. Let's call it a landing page, whatever. Um, I'll create that page first. So that's number one. Number one. Number one is to create that, that first page first. And that's the page that the order form is going to go on, right? So just like that other mosaic page, there's an order form on that page or a request a demo form, right? So that's a form. So step one would be to put together a page, okay? And then once I have that page, I don't need to deck it out. I don't need to design it. I just need to have it up. So I'm going to show you how to, how to get it up and how to just put it in position. So when you're ready to come and design and edit, then you'll, it'll be there. But just having it up and, and putting it in place is, is, is step one is the most important. That happens first, that landing page. And then what I'll do is I'll come over to the form. I'll come over to actually, you know what? I take that back. I'll take, I'll, I'll come to the thank you page. So 
so wherever, so go back to the mosaic, the homepage, wherever, the, when I fill out that form, that form, that demo, request a demo, when I fill out that form and I click that green button, uh, submit request or send request, where do I go next? That's the thank you page. So you can call it a thank you page. You can call it a, a booking confirm page. You can call it a, 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 the second page, whatever, right? So when you fill out that form, <clears throat> you go to the next page. That's what in this example, I'm going to call it your, your, um, your, and see, here's the deal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're going to fix all this. That's what you don't want. So what you don't want, I'm going to show you what you, what you don't want. You, what you don't want is, is to stay operating this way. When I, when you, when a, when a, when a lead fills out that, that form and they, and they click that green button, send request, they should be re redirected to a second page. And the reason why that's so important is because as you go and start to run Facebook ads, Facebook is tracking this URL and Facebook's tracking the URL of the confirmation page. So when I click send request, I need to be redirected. We need to re redirect that lead to a thank you for scheduling page or a confirmation page. And again, that's the second page. That's a confirmation page. That page has its own URL. Very important for Facebook advertising. Very important for, for the metrics inside of Facebook advertising. So when they click that green button, they go to the confirmation page. We're able to give that URL to Facebook to categorize that as a lead. So that's, when, that's why we, if, you, if you guys do start to run paid ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, even YouTube ads, you need to be able to track that. We need to know how many leads are coming in. Now, now that you have Kartra, and I, I would assume with whatever system you're operating as well, you know where that lead's at. But in Kartra, you'll be able to track that lead. Obviously, if they fill out the form, that lead is automatically in your Kartra system. But if it's coming through a Facebook ad, we got to be able to determine that as well. We got to be able to see that metric in the Facebook ad dashboard as well. Mm -hmm. And we also have to be able to create an audience around everyone who lands on that confirmation page because that's very specific. A person comes here, fills out the form, goes to the confirmation page. That is a lead aka a custom audience so mm -hmm. when you start to go run future ads you're now going to be able to exclude everyone who landed on the confirmation page that they're already a lead they've already scheduled a demo they do not need to keep seeing your ads mm -hmm. so you're able to exclude them and so i see this time and time again what's that that basically saves us money oh shit bro are you kidding me that freaking cut your budget in half and, yeah. and it doesn't annoy the audience because if I already requested a demo, why do I keep seeing your damn ads? Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So I see this time and time again where, where a form, you know, would look like this. And, and yeah, man, thank God we have Kartra now because that's super important for tracking and for just segmenting your, your list. Um, they need to go to a confirmation page. So back to Kartra. So what I'm saying is step one is this first page. Let's call it the home page. Mm -hmm. Step two is the confirmation page. So let's let so so that's step two is the confirmation page. So go back to Kartra real quick. Click on that tab. Step two, and this is the this is the process that I go down. No matter no matter what I'm trying to build, it's always going to be around a home page, a thank you page, aka confirmation. Thank you for scheduling your demo. Whatever the hell you want to call that second page, and then the third step is creating the form. Those three basic steps apply for anything you're trying to do because, because it's all about getting somebody to a page to fill out a form. When they fill out the form, they click submit, they go, they must go to a, a second page for confirmation. So that's you page number two. You do or don't like the way it is now where the form is on page one. No, no, I, I don't, I don't like it. And not that I don't like it. It's just, it's not, that's not, that's not scalable like at all. Like we can, we're not going to be able to scale that at all. Like as far as knowing the metrics and, and knowing the analytics of, of, of how many leads are coming in, if we're running paid ads, if you're running paid ads, and even if you're not running paid ads, like you still want to be able to track that. You can still put your Facebook pixel on all your pages and at least leverage Facebook's ability to segment these different types of people, even if you're not even running ads. Hmm. So, so, so the fact that you went to your page, you filled out the form, and you stayed on the same page, that's a big no-no. So in this case with Kartra, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the home page, and then number two, we're going to set up the confirmation page. And then number three, we're going to set up the form. 
So the form will be a whole separate page. That's that's over there to the left. My forms. So each each thing is it's is its own asset. You'll have a you'll have oh, a home page. I got it. Yeah, you see my forms to the left right there. Yep. So number one, the the home page. Number two, the, the the confirmation page, and number three, the form that goes on the home page. It's those sure. three basic steps. So now that we're here in my pages, let's click that green that green square that blinking green button there page and now we'll be able to go in to all these different templates and see which one um, matches the best to what we're doing and again it's just the template we're going to be able to change everything but when it comes to that page that home page you'll want to maybe take a look at maybe go down scroll down and let's take a look at because you got squeeze pages thank you pages you got all that but i think i think we'll want to take a look at and we can look at all of them but to save time scroll down to scroll down to personal branding let's see if we can play around and i think it's a very very bottom one the very last one at the bottom let's see if we can see any of these templates and see if any of them resemble and again we're, we could change we could switch everything out um but i i think that 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 one with the with the red hoodie take a yeah. look at that one hit preview click preview and so as it goes down we could start playing around with all these different sections and just turn it and, and just and just duplicate yours sure so that one could be super simple to, to to turn around um and then you got other ones i mean it's all the same right we're just ch yeah. I mean, we change all the colors anyway Does yeah oh yeah bro you're gonna change everything it's yeah. just it, it, it's just having a cheat sheet you know at least a, a template at least kind of visual visually shows us where everything goes and what to replace all but, right, so I could, I could play around with this over the weekend and try to pick out a template. And yeah, plus, I also need to put all the, the images on one computer. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So just for, just for the example then, just so you can have some type of, of, of blueprint, let's, huh? just, let's just get with that, that red hoodie. Hit select, and let's call this step one. This is going to be the home page just for the, the sake of this example. Hit launch builder. So every time we come into and create a new page, this is the process. So we're going to name it. Um, test home perfect and then what we're also going to do as you start to build out a ton of pages you may have different projects that you're working on you may be having different you know businesses going on so what you're going to want to start doing is get in the habit of putting everything in a category okay. so <clears throat> let's go ahead and click the blue link right below that <clears throat> you'll see manage yeah click on that one and then go ahead and name it your your company mosaic perfect and then click add and then you'll hit the drop down yeah, you'll hit the green one. I'm sorry, hit done. And then you'll click the drop down and then put it in that category. And then I just go no no site in particular. So hit that one and just put no site. That I don't even know why they have that. Like I don't even I don't even use that part. But just you'll always put no site. Okay. okay, and then we go into the builder. So you can always play around with this later, but but let me kind of just show you what I what I normally do. And this is this is in the beginning, a, a tutorial. Like as you click that blue button, it will take you through each. I'm going to give you a huge crash course once we're in, but it just shows you everything to the left. Go ahead and hit start tutorial and you'll have to just click next, 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 next. But it's telling you, and I want you to go through this later because you'll learn each part of it later. But there's only a couple of them, like like three of them that I ever really click on. But but all of them are super important and 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 powerful depending on what you're trying to do. But I'm going to keep it as super, I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. Um, Go to, yeah, don't click, don't, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay, cool. So <clears throat> as we come into a page for the very first time, there's a few things that I do right away before anything, before anything, is I'll always click on settings to the left and I'll click on SEO parameters. The SEO parameters, that page title, that's the title in the tab. So just like you have that tab open on the side, home dash mosaic golf, that's the title. I got so, you. I always want to name that title right away. Um, and so you can leave it test homepage, but just remember as you move forward, always come in here and change that title first. Cause sometimes you, you want to name something different, you know, so you can leave that there for now. And then the description down here, this only applies for the homepage. It only applies really to tell you the truth. It only applies for pages that you'll be sharing or that anybody could possibly share on social media. But this, so, 
So page description is just for this specific page, not for the website or anything else. Yes, it's only for this specific page, which is the home page, because it's really only the home page they'll, that you'll ever share on social media. Unless you have a blog or unless you have some other random page, then, then, then this will still apply. But this right here, this entire, you got, you got page meta description, you got page meta keywords, you got author, OG title, and then the description where you're at. <clears throat> and then you have the image, <clears throat> excuse me. Then you have new page or no, no image selected. You have that blue button right there. Uh -huh. That is what shows up when you go and share something. Watch, let me show you. Let me share my screen real quick. Come go ahead and stop share because this is going to make, make all the sense in the world rather than me trying to explain it. Let me just show you. The reason why it's only necessary for a page that you're sharing on social media is because that's when you'll take the time to even fill out all that, to even care about all that. Normally you wouldn't care about any of that, but changing the title of the tab. That's it. So if it's going to be a page that you'll ever share on social media, then you'll want to fill out the description, the meta tag, the title, all that stuff. Because when you go and share that on social media, here's what it is. So this is one of my, um, actually, you know what? That link's not even, not even connected or is it? Let me see if it's connected still. Okay, it's still connected. Okay, cool. So look, as I go and share my link, that's uh -huh. what shows. So let me post it. So this is the image that I would have put in. Um, and, then, and then you see the dot .com, you see the title, you see the description. This is what a person would see on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Facebook. So say that one more time. So this image is coming from where exactly again? That was- Go that ahead was... And, and share your screen. Uh... <clears throat> That image is coming from, well, once we, once we set it all up, that's what we're, that's what you're in. You're in the settings. So that's where we would add the image right there. That blue button, you would oh, that so and you would add an image. So it's nothing that's actually on the page. I could, yeah, I you can, can put add any image. a guy in a blue hoodie for all I care. And that's, that'll be what shows up. Not this guy. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So go ahead and click on it. Click on it. <clears throat> so you can upload your own or you can even search and, and pull some stock images from Kartra. So if you just put, you know, whatever freaking, yeah, gotcha. see, so, so again, when I go and share this Karcher link, this page, that image would show on social media. So again, I only do that for the home page or, or maybe my landing page, anything I'm going to share. I'm not sharing my confirmation page, right? Like my thank you for scheduling, like that page will never be shared. So I can care less about filling in all the damn blanks over here for a freaking page that will never be shared. But yep. a page that will, I, I want to come in here and fill out as much info as I can because that's what yep. people see on social media. So that's for the page that you're sharing. But no matter what, no matter what, every page, it's always changing that title. So at the very, very top, it's always changing that title of the tab, the page title at the very top of this section here, SEO parameters. Yeah, so scroll back, back, back up to the top right there. Yep. So that test homepage, that's what you'll always change. Okay. So, um, so let's, let's hit the arrow, the left arrow. Let's go back from SEO parameters. Yeah. Go back. Now, the second thing that I would do right away on a brand new page is I would hit that tracking code and I would put in my Facebook pixel. Even if I'm not running Facebook ads just yet, you still have a, a, an ads account. You still have a Facebook pixel. So you want to try to put that pixel on your pages, no matter what leverage Facebook and let Facebook start gathering the, this data for you of people who are actually landing on, on, on your pages, you know, and that, that's all free. That's without you having to run ads. So right there at the very, very bottom, I would go into my ads manager and I would copy my pixel and I would paste it in right there at the very, very bottom. Those are the two things that I do right away on a brand new page. So, okay, so, so I have to, first I have to go make a Facebook pixel account. Well, a Facebook ad account. Yeah. Facebook yeah. ad account. And then in that ad account, you have a pixel. And then that gets loaded up into Kartra. And instead of having to type it in every single time, there's a place where I can, it just loads it up. No, what you'll do is you'll paste in the fix. The Facebook pixel is just a copy in and paste type of thing. Like you'll just copy 
a, a code that Facebook will give you and you'll paste it in right at the bottom. Oh, I thought you, I just heard you say there was a manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Facebook, your ads manager. So your Facebook ads manager is your Facebook ad account. Oh, so, that's interesting. So that's, that's what you'll probably have to set up later on once you guys get, that, get down that, that path. But you have a Facebook ad account. And in that Facebook ad account, your, it's called your ad account. It's called your ads manager. Yep. In that account, there, you have a pixel. And that piece of code, you paste it in right, to, right there at the bottom. Into, oh, Facebook ad. Yeah, tracking added. code. Yeah. What and then about it, Instagram? Same thing. That that one pixel tracks for Instagram and tracks for Facebook. Because you're it's the same pixel for Facebook and Instagram? Yeah, because Facebook and Instagram are the same. So as you go and run Instagram ads, you're running them through Facebook. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So it's one piece of code and that one piece of code will start tracking who's clicking on your ads and who's actually landing on your page. Not who's yeah. clicking on your ad, but who's landing on your pages. And these three would be well, like Google Analytics if I cared that much? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, that, and anytime you add anything in here, anytime, you, ch anytime you, you change anything, always click that green button. Always click apply or it won't save. Sure. So right at the bottom, always click that and then, and then you can get out of it. Okay. So, so, that's what I check right away coming into a brand new page. So, go ahead go and... Yeah, so SEO parameters, tracking code. I don't do the tag right here. I'll show you, I'll show you where, to, where to add your tags, and I'll explain tags. But page redirect, you won't need that. So it's really on the left-hand side. As we came into the builder, there was that brief tutorial. All that was doing was explaining what all these things on the left do. So in my experience, the only ones that, to the left that I ever, ever, ever click on, ever, like 99.999% of the time, is settings to do exactly what I just showed you to do, the yep. SEO parameters and the tracking. I also click on um, on um, the damn I can't even read it. It's so damn small. But the, the 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 third the fourth one down. Components. Components and sections. The top one. So that one right there. So sections and components. That's it, man. So it's settings, sections, and components. Those are the only three that I ever freaking click on. Yeah. So you can click on everything, which is what I recommend. Get to know what everything is and what everything does. But in the form of building pages and doing what the hell you guys need to do, you'll only be in those three. And once you do the settings, the settings is a one-time thing. Change the page title, put your, put your Facebook pixel code. That's a one-time thing. So it's 99.999% of the time. It's sections and components. That's where everything's at. Yep. So, so when you look at sections, you got all these, you got all these different features and all it is, watch, click on, click on features, for example, right there to the down features, click on features. All it's going to do is give you all these different templates. You click and drag it over. So click, drag it over. And you'll either see a spot right there where it says drop your block, just like it did, or You'll, you'll, you'll drag something over and you'll see orange and green lines. Like, let's do it again. So let's, let's hit back from block templates. You got, you got drop, you got drop here, but then also let's click on, click on, click on. Um, let's go to scroll down, scroll down. What else we got? Let's, let's go to, let's go to countdown clock. Let's go to, um, Actually, these are all sections are all dropped. Yeah, sections are all dropped. It's the components. So, so that's what it's going to look like. When you're in the sections, you're going to click and you'll see, you'll see a section to drop it. And you can drop it anywhere in the page wherever it says that. But the components, that's where you'll see the green and orange line. So to the very left, let's click on components and let's just see what's, what's in there. And you'll have, you'll have all these different things. So for example, let's, let's look at list. Click on, click on list. And so if we wanted to drag one of these over, click, click any one of them, click, click, drag it over and you and you should see the orange. And when it's orange, you cannot drop it. You got to, you got to hover over it until it's green. So if you hover over the orange is just telling you where you can drop it, but what you have to do is line it up. So line it up until it turns green and then drop it. Bam, right there. Gotcha. So, so, so components, you'll see those orange and green lines. And then the, the sections you'll just see, drop your, drop your blog 
or okay. drop your block, I think it says. This isn't easy enough. Yeah, bro. So it's super easy. And, and just there's so many different features in sections and components. So later on, when you have time, just go through every one of them and, 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 and just start and have up your homepage, your, your existing one, and just start matching it up. Perfect. And, and, and go back to the top real quick of the page. So X out of this part, block templates. You can X out of that one. Yeah, X out of that one. Scroll to the, okay, so let's scroll down a little bit where that red hoodie is at. That red hoodie, you got the red hoodie, which is one image, and then you have the microphone, which is the other, which is very similar to your, to your page, to your existing page. You have the cell phone in the hand, and then you have the golfer in the back. That's what that is. So if yeah. you hover over the red hoodie, there's the slot for the image. That's where the hand and the cell phone would go. And then yeah. the image in the background, right there to the right, right where it says section four, the red box, right there to the right. Click on edit, down, edit, the pencil, down, 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 right there, edit. That's the image. So if you click on background, image selected, the blue one, that's the image for the background. So right oh. now it's that microphone and you can, you can search there or again, you can add your own. And, and throw something in there. Yeah, throw that in there for the hell of it. And then hit apply. You always have to hit apply, that green button. I gotcha. Yeah. So obviously that would need to be more to the left. But um, in fact, see if you can, see if it goes to the left. Click on edit again. See if you can, if you can align. Let's see if you can, yeah, click on the pencil. Does it say, okay, so um, there's the parallax scroll. I was thinking we can we can shoot it to the left, but I don't think you can. What is this move button here? Does this move the whole? Oh, this probably moves the whole section. You know what? I've never clicked on that to tell you the truth. Um, move. Oh yeah, it's just this moves the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So maybe even take that. Maybe even take that that, that red hoodie out. You know, it's up to you, but you can always add it back. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and then another thing, one, and then up at the top, you can see desktop mode, tablet mode, mobile mode. So you can, you can move around and see what it looks like on different devices. Um, and, then, and, then, and then the columns and components. Right now you're in component mode. Component mode is where you can simply hover over and it shows you exactly what, what is what. So hover over each paragraph right there. So that, that part's that. If you click in, it takes you to that. If you click, it, click in more, I think it would take you to the title. Yeah, like how do I edit these words? Yeah, so it would be that T right, right there. And then you just edit. Then how do I... How do I edit? Oh, this is edit text here. Yeah, but yeah. how do I edit text like here? Right there. Hit the T. Oh, I got it. Yeah. There. Hit, hit okay. the T. Yep. And then you can change those icons. Those are those are icons. You can change those. You can change the color of those icons. That little, you know, freaking whatever the hell those designs are. But you can change those. You can change the color. You can. And so that's component mode. Component mode allows you to to click on each individual section or each individual um, I, I guess section would be the word, uh, not, not section because columns is more like sections, but when you're in component, you can, you can click around to each paragraph, to each, to each line. But when you're in columns, columns shows you a different form. It shows you a different view. It shows you exactly like you can delete the entire, that, that blue, that blue is the, the entire thing, or you could take away just the pink and the pink is that section right there. Bam. That's where that, that hoodie, that red hoodie was at. Uh -huh. and, and it was still, there was still a placeholder there for it until we took it out. Right? So, so you'll be normally working and navigating through components. Um, but, but every now and then if you have to, if you have to delete a huge section, then columns is kind of where you, where you want to be. And that's kind of what I use columns for. If I need to delete an entire section, <coughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go into col column mode and see exactly what that section is and then delete the whole thing. Um, and then also, when you look at the entire page, everything uh -huh. is, in, is in blocks. That's, what, that's mainly what, what, what makes up an actual page is, is, is different blocks. And the blocks are horizontal. So, for example, that right there, that's a, that's a whole block. And then up there at the top where the golfer's at, 
that's a block. And, and the way you can tell is when, that, when you see that red square pop up to the right. So when you have that red square pop up to the right, that is the block, the horizontal, left to right. That's the block in, within this page. So if I wanted to delete that, then I can just delete it. I can hit that X to the right and I would delete that entire block. So that's why like, if you wanna add it or if you wanna delete it, it's all broken down into, into blocks from top to bottom, from left to right. Gotcha. Okay, so that's one block right there. So I can delete that, hit delete, and boom, that whole section's gone. So that's why just playing around with this, like it, it wouldn't be hard at all to, to recreate your, your existing page. Gotcha. Okay, cool. You know, so so, so that's, that's the homepage. That's, that's step one. That's a homepage. That's a landing page, whatever the heck you want to call it, a homepage in this case. Um, and that's step one. So now let's, let's save. So here it's, and it's a, it's a three click exit. Okay. It's a three click exit. So when we exit a page and you never want to leave it idling like this, like, you know, shit, you know, comes up and you're taking a phone call or you're doing something else and you leave it idling like this. And you just made a ton of changes. Try not to ever do that. Always get out of the page. So it's a three click exit, that green button at the top to the top, right actions. We're going to save progress. And go ahead and publish live. Like you don't have any links directing to it. So no one, no one in the world can even find it. So save progress, X out of that. And then go back to the actions, publish live. That's number two. And then number three, go ahead and X out of that. And then number three is return a dashboard. And I don't know why it's three clicks, man. It should be just freaking one damn click and that's it. But um. And then, and then also as you're in an exit, yeah, as you're working and, <clears throat> and doing different things to the page, save progress every few minutes. I would for sure at least do that. Like yeah. save progress every, every so often. You don't have to publish live right away, only on the way out and then return a dashboard, but try to save your, try to save, um, save progress. Okay, cool. Often. often. So that, that's, that's one page. That's step one. The second one would be the thank you page or the confirmation page. So hit the green button again. Now, what we want to do is if the whole objective is to get people to fill out that form and click submit demo or, or, or submit request or whatever it was, there needs to be a page that they're taken to. So that could be a thank you page. It could be, it could be a video sales page. It could, be, it, could be, it could be damn near anything. I mean, but, <clears throat> but um, a thank you page... <clears throat> Or it could be the same damn page. Like you can clone the first page and just change it up a little bit. So you're, you're saying instead of having the form here, you would just have request a demo as a button that takes you to another page that yes. has just the form on it. And then once you hit submit, it takes you to a third page. That's a thank you page. No, not, not even a third page, just a second page, like a second page. So when they fill out that form and they click the button, they just need to go to a second page. I got you. And that's a, that's a thank you for scheduling your demo or thank you for requesting your demo. Just a so simple you're thank okay you. With, you're okay with this functionality just as long as this whole thing was on a second page. No, this can stay the way it is, just like this. It's only, all I'm saying is that when we click that green button, send, send request, we need to go to a yeah. second page. Oh, okay. So this is that second page. I got you. You know, so um, there's a bunch of different templates Thank you for scheduling your demo or thank you for requesting your demo. Something simple. And all these, all these are already designed from like high level marketers. So very rarely do you even need to change much. Obviously your image, your colors, things like that. But as far as the layout of the template, most of them are already good to go, man. You, you, you don't need to add much to them or, or even delete much. Um, just kind of add your own taste to it, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. So, so, Figuring out what that thank you page is, that's step two. And then once you, once you get up that page, then you go and create the form. That form is the same one that you have. You can create that same form, that demo form. That would be step three is to recreate that form. But, you, but the reason why this is number three is because in order to configure the form, in order to, 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 to complete the form, you need to direct that form to a thank you page. So when they fill out the form, where are they going? 
that's why uh, setting up that thank you page as step two is the most important. Then I come here, number three, I set up the form and then I redirect it. When they fill it out, they're redirected to that thank you for scheduling page or thank you for requesting page or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so, so it's really those three you know, steps um, are the most important right now. You know, okay. and then, and then getting up, getting up your calendar, getting up your calendar. I would think it'd be, you know, that'd be important as well is, <clears throat> I don't know. Are you, are you, so you're, you're, you're taking request for demos. Is there, is there a difference in your line of work? If that person just simply scheduled the demo instead? No, uh, <clears throat> that would be great. You can, uh, you know, either fill out the form so that we have the, I would even put on the thank you page, you know, you know, here's a link, feel free to schedule your own demo. Otherwise somebody will be contacting you to schedule accordingly. Yeah, it could be, it could be that or, or when they, when they come to that homepage, rather than just a simple form to request a demo, you could also, an, an option is to simply have your calendar there. Yeah. Click and schedule your best time. So I could, I could put that at the bottom Right here, I can put a link in here that pulls up my calendar, and then you submit request and do the whole thing. Yeah, dude, their freaking demo is scheduled already. Yeah. And base that, base the the time, you know, allotted, base that around your schedule. Obviously, you know, like you can set up that calendar, you know, based on your schedule. And yeah, man, people could just schedule freaking appointments right on the spot. Yeah. You know, so that's that's a good option too rather than requesting it waiting to hear back and then i got to schedule it so this would be done after i do all the other things yes your calendar yeah set up your calendar um and then also what you'll want is you'll want everything is about a thank you page everything is about a confirmation page when it comes to filling out a form so if i'm going to your home page i'm filling out a form if i'm going to your calendar i'm filling out a form because I got to go to your calendar. I got to choose Tuesday at 4 p.m. I got to put in my name and number. I'm filling out a form to schedule a, an appointment. And, yeah. and so when it comes to a form, just always keep in mind, there always has to be a success page. There always has to be a confirmation page. So if you go and, schedule, if you go and set up a calendar, then keep in mind, there has to be a thank you for scheduling page. And then also there has to be a form. Okay. Okay. So, but how am I, how am I integrating a form and a scheduling in one thing the, here to make it look like this? The, because all you're going to do is simply add your calendar to this. So rather than it looking exactly like this, it'll look like your calendar. Yeah. So it'll just, it'll just look like a calendar. You can, you can drag your calendar. Watch, let's go back to a page. Do you still have oh. that page? Do you still have a page or did you delete them? I deleted it, but okay. So you're but, saying make a calendar and instead put that request a demo with the calendar link here, and I could still capture this information once. Yes, I click. bro. Yeah, dude. That right, right, again, rather than it looking the aesthetics, go back to the other page. Rather than it looking like a form, that's my calendar. That is my damn calendar. And yeah. as you go and schedule Tuesday at 4 p.m., I'm asking for your first and last name. I'm asking for your email. I'm asking for your phone number. I'm asking for your country club. I'm asking for your title. I'm, all, I'm also asking for questions and comments as yeah. you're scheduling Tuesday at 4 p.m. Yeah. You know, so, so, and the calendar is very simple too as far as, um, as, as far as the user experience. Like it's super simple. Like it's a basic calendar that just, they just fill it out and choose their time and day. You know, right. and, and you're still requesting the same information. All right, cool. Yeah, that yeah. makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Rather than a two-step, it's just a one-step. Because I, I kind of the way I kind of look at that is it's a two-step, right? I got to request it. I got to wait to hear back from you, and then and then I, and then and then we schedule. Yeah. You know, just let me schedule now. All right. Well, I see we have about three minutes left. So, I guess my homework, my first task, will be to recreate the three pages in Kartra and include yes. these changes that we just made. So it'll be four pages next time we talk. It'll actually be, you're right. It'll be, it'll be four pages. And this call will be up tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, actually tomorrow at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern, I'll have yeah. this call up. And if it's not on YouTube, I'll have it sent to all my, all my Karcher friends and you'll, you're on that 
email list now so you'll get this video but 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 it, it when it's all said and done you got you got you got yeah you got four pages and two forms yeah so so the home page the thank you the actually you know what no i take that back now it's three pages really it's it's the home page it's the thank you for scheduling page because yeah. i'm going to the home page i'm hitting your calendar at the bottom right away i'm putting this tuesday at 4 p.m yeah, and then and then I'm and then I and then I'm redirected to the thank you for scheduling page, which is page two. So so it's really two pages. It's two pages, and see, we need to be redirected. That they need to redirect to a thank you for scheduling page. Sure. So sure. so it's two pages and two forms. Your home page, your thank you for scheduling page, and the form. Actually, shit, one form because it's just the form for the calendar. Now we have the calendar on the page. It's just one form. Two pages, one form, bro. Two pages, one form, and the calendar. And then I'll add this as the the third page, the mosaic off button. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Those those buttons are at the top of the other of that first page that we looked at. But there's a ton of different pages in there, and and just find you know the best that fits and just this, all this is copy and paste. Just bring it over. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, man. So. Again, bro, anytime, dude, just schedule calls and we'll jump on 50 million of them if we need to. All right. I will do this over the weekend and we'll talk on Tuesday. Sounds good, brother. Appreciate it, man. Right. Have a great weekend. Enjoy. You too. All right, bro. Thanks. Bye-bye.